So as you may recall, setter and getter functions are used to run custom logic when data is written to or read from in our code. In Godot 3, we use the setGet keyword followed by the name of our setter and getter functions. In Godot 4, the setGet keyword is gone and we instead have two options for defining our setter and getter functions. The first option is quite similar to Godot 3, but instead of the syntax set get followed by our function names, we now just place a colon after the variable and assign our functions to the set and get properties. The other option is to place a colon and define the set and get functions right after it. So why care about running custom logic via setter and getter functions? Well, as an example, let's say we have a game where the player's health should always be afloat between 0 and 100. Using a setter function, we can make sure the value is clamped to this range before being applied to the variable, therefore preventing any out-of-range errors. Another common use includes emitting a signal every time a value is updated so that other objects that depend on that data can always be up to date, such as updating our UI when the player takes damage. For getter functions, one common use case is to conditionally calculate an expensive value if it's not already available from a cache, which can also be combined with a setter function so you know when the cache needs to be invalidated. But you can also use them to do things like hide a long or complex path to a resource, or to obfuscate any data transformations that may need to occur to make an object externally useful. There are of course other uses for setter and getter functions, but this is just a few ideas to kind of help you see how this can be useful. And that's all I have to say about setter and getter functions in Godot 4. Not too much to them, but they do come in handy. And as one last note, you may recall that in Godot 3, setter and getter functions were not internally called by default, but that is no longer the case in Godot 4. Your setter and getter functions will now always get called regardless of who's operating on the data.